All right, so what makes Lux special and why am I presenting it to you? First of all, I do occasionally like such music. Those familiar with the channel will know that I mostly cover pop and rock with a side of jazz, but this is a choral orchestral piece. I find it to be quite beautiful and a bit relaxing, but it also has moments of extreme intensity. It has a vast dynamic and sonic range and I feel like the pieces are well composed, extremely well performed, well mixed, well mastered, and just well presented to the end listener. And this high praise is typical of a 2L release. With an immersive audio mix in mind from the outset, meaning RO3D and also Atmos, so 9.1 channels or above, they pick the locations, the performers, the musical pieces, and set up the microphone array, all to give the best immersive experience. They don't so much mix in immersive, but they record the pieces for immersive properly and then just bring up the faders. In my opinion, Lux very much deserves its 2020 Grammy win for best immersive audio album. After 28 plus Grammy nominations, Morton Lindbergh finally has a win. Now I like to do mixology slides and show you on the screen where things are at in your room. But 2L has done that for me via their extremely informative booklet. For him to love, we see that the choir is up front with many of the strings before you as well as many behind you. So this piece is vocals and strings with bass down the middle, right where it should be. For Requiem, you have the choir spread out all around you this time, with the organ in stereo behind you, and the saxophone dead center up ahead. And finally, for the light, you have the choir up ahead, some strings up ahead, some strings behind you with double bass in that rear right, which should put a smile on the face of those who love classic quad, and the organ in stereo behind you. And then they also dedicate two pages to explaining the technology of RO3D and Dolby Atmos. So a bit more about the music. Lux contains an Andrew Smith composition called Requiem, which is based on a Roman Catholic Mass for the Dead, with some lyrical substitutions of biblical children's experiences, such as the Massacre of the Infants by Herod. And it's sandwiched by two Stola Kleiberg pieces called Him to Love and the Light. Requiem is dedicated to the victims of the July 22nd, 2011 Norway attacks, in which a lone killer detonated a bomb in Oslo before proceeding to a youth camp on the island of Utøya, and between the two attacks killing over 70 people. And I think the intent was that Requiem is an homage to the attacks of 2011 and Him to Love and The Light are meant to give us some hope that we can persist through the trials of this world and that light does shine in the darkness. So this is a very powerful release with meaningful pieces that are well performed, well recorded, and exquisitely presented for you across a huge variety of mediums. So there is almost guaranteed if you are into high resolution surround, a compatible format in this package for you. Lux being a thematic follow-up to Magnificat, which I've mentioned on this channel before, it was guaranteed to be intriguing for me and it does not disappoint. I love Magnificat and I like Lux equally as much. And uh, my Favorite still from 2L is Mass for Modern Man. And they have quite a few more titles that I honestly need to dig into. This is choral music. Requiem was written for the Nidaros Cathedral Girls Choir along with their accompaniment. And the Kleiberg pieces were specifically chosen for these performers in this venue. 2L's mission is to, I want to say replicate the space of the cathedral you're in, but in Morton's write-up, 
I agree with his opinion that you can't perfectly replicate, but he's giving the illusion that you're there. And with his immersive technology, recording with Aro in mind, I think he does just an amazing job. So if you want your listening room to sound as close to a cathedral as it can get at this point, go ahead and pick up some 2L recordings. Uh, one final note about their Blu-rays is they designed them so that you can use the on-screen menu, but you don't have to. You can read in the booklet about how to activate any given mix that you wish. And headless playback is a frequent request of many audio listeners. I've been mentioning Streaming Atmos a lot because I'm excited about the Pearl Jam album on Apple TV and the selection now on offer at Tidal. And though it sounds pretty good to me, there are those who are not very impressed with the sound quality of streaming so far. So I wanted to give you the most impressive Blu-ray audio example that I know of. Not only do you get lossless Atmos here, which is 48K, but you also get lossless RO3D, which impressively can deliver immersive audio in 96K. So I hope that you enjoy, if you should check out any 2L, and until next time, I'll just encourage you to live life in surround.